I really take pride in being able to visualize what that car is going to look like in the end result. Hey, how's it going? I'm Randy Weaver on Weaver Customs here in West Jordan, Utah, which we specialize in 1972 and down hot rod muscle cars and customs. Come on in, we'll check out the shop. This is where all the magic happens in this humble little area. You can see it's just nothing but hot rods. Okay, check this out. What we have here is a 1941 Dodge military power wagon. They only made them for a few years. I decided to do one of these just because it was rare and I've always wanted to do something military, uh, you know, related. Just, you know, it's because I like the military and, and I just felt it would be the perfect rig to build. Instead of an all original power wagon, I wanted to do a more modernized setup. So like my suspension is all four bar with, with Fox 2.0 shock. And then I custom made the whole bed. As you can see, everything's smooth. And then the two-tone, you know, the gray over the black, just kind of kept it that military-ish, truck-ish type feel. The wood bed in this thing is just killer. So it is a Brazilian hardwood, which finished out really cool. And then Ogden Chrome did all our brushed nickel accents. Interior is probably the favorite, my favorite thing in the whole truck. So it's all black, headliners, all black leather. I put leather floorboards with 1911 Colt uh, 45s in the floors. So that is that is probably one of my favorite things just because I like guns and, and military and stuff like that. And I can show you the engine over here. Just a super clean single turbo four cylinder Cummins. Probably makes like 350 ish horse, so real mild. But just, yeah, just super, super simple and clean. And then over here, what we have is a 1968 Chevy Caprice. What I've done is you can see all like you know I did all the metal work and this is all metal a lot of people think everything's fiberglass like the splitter and then the hood I chopped this bumper into probably four or five pieces made it all one piece tucked it in and made it just super slick and modern the suspension is all ride tech you know four-wheel disc brakes 14 inch brakes on it I could show you this under the hood and this goes back to more metal work and it's a it's kind of a an artwork you know masterpiece being all metal and it's not fiberglass, which is, you know, I pride myself in metal crafting. I don't like just, you know, fiberglass and I just think metal's more of a challenge, if you will. But yeah, it's powered by an LSA 600 horse uh, LS, you know, 6.2 liter. So yeah, just something really cool. You know, when you pop the hood, it's, it's kind of like a jewelry box, you know, just really slick and neat. And then we can wander around to the back. More metal work, as you can see. Tuck the bumpers really super, super slick. So what I did is I handcrafted everything, molded, hand molded all this to where it was all steel in one piece, and then made all my, my tail wing back here all in steel, which tied in just super bitch into the car. You know, I visualize a whole car sitting here being smooth and perfect. It looks like it's going 120 mile an hour sitting still. Is kind of my vision on every build. Okay, check this out. So this 1964 International is my shop truck. You know, and I think every hot rod shop should have a cool, cool hot rod truck to drive around, get parts in, tow your hot rod. This truck here in particular has a really cool story to it. I found it in Cheyenne, Wyoming, sitting in a field. 1982, I think, was the last dated tag on the truck. So it sat in that field forever. So I drug it home, updated all the suspension. So it's all Mustang two and nine inch Ford uh, with four bar, ride tech adjustable coilovers, you know, four wheel disc brakes, tucking 22s all the way around, which is really neat. You know, you wouldn't think it tuck 22s riding static. And static, I mean, it's all on coilovers, not on air. And I still pull a trailer with it. Um, just a real functional truck. Every modern kind of add on you can build a vehicle with, this truck has but yet still looks really old and patina. You know, has the perfect patina on it. But I put a big Cummins 12 valve, six cylinder in it, uh, made 650-ish to the ground um, and upwards 1,200 foot-pounds of torque. Truck weighs 4,400 pounds. So believe it or not, the truck is super, super fast. This here is a really cool piece here. 
So my dad had this swan, probably late 60s, early 70s, and he passed away just not too long ago. And so I said, this belongs on this work truck, just for the fact I get to look at it every day. So this truck and, and everything on this truck has a really cool history to it. I took a passion for building cool stuff and finding out what I can do with my talent to make this stuff work, to see where they start from to that finished car out there is why I like to do it. It just pays off in the end for uh, the finished product. Hey, thanks for stopping by the shop. I gotta get back here and get to work on this Mustang. Take care.